Oh my god, it's so hot today. <laughs> Australian weather kills me. Hey guys, welcome back to the lounge. Laura here and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review. So I haven't done a review in a while and I thought that for this week, seeing as I didn't really have anything planned, I figured I could do another review and because I haven't done one in like ages. So I'm going to be doing a book review today. Okay, so for a while I've been reading this book called The Sun is Also a Star. It's by Nicola Yoon who wrote Everything Everything. Um, she is a fantastic author and honestly when I read the first chapter I was couldn't take my eyes away from it. So for this review I'm just going to be giving a few details about the book and letting you guys know what I think of it. I think that's how reviews work. I wrote my notes down on my phone because I knew I'd forget and um, I'm terrible without a script so this is what I this is what I wrote. The two main characters are Natasha who is Jamaican American and Daniel who is Korean American. Um, Natasha doesn't really believe in fate and destiny but she believes in science and facts and things like that whereas Daniel is the opposite. In this story it takes place in New York and um, they meet on Manhattan Street in, like a, in the morning. Um, Natasha is off to an appointment and Daniel is off to an interview at Yale. Natasha is, being, is 12 hours away from uh, being deported with her family back to Jamaica and she's trying to um, go to the, all these appointments to get her family to not be deported and she meets Daniel along the way and um, yeah so Daniel tries really hard to make Natasha fall in love with him but Natasha's like nope see ya sis not interested but they ended up they end up spending the day together well so far I haven't finished the book yet but yeah um, they do like karaoke and things get a little heated at one stage. I'm not gonna spoil it, you need to read it. He's a poet, he, he wants to be a poet, so he tries to use like um, science and poetry to, you know, make her fall in love with him and things like that. Like I said, I haven't really read the whole book yet. Um, I'm like halfway through it. Actually, I'm pretty much in the middle of it, yeah. Um, each chapter is in like a different perspective, so it's like one chapter is Daniel's, one chapter is Natasha's, or one chapter is like a character that is explaining their point of view of the world and, you know, it sort of relates to, um, the two characters. On the back it goes, the story of a girl, a boy and the universe. Um, and then it has like a little blurb of like Natasha, Daniel and then like the universe. So I'll read that just so you get a little bit more of an idea because clearly I'm not very good at these reviews. I will get better one day, I promise. Natasha's is like, I'm a girl who believes in science and facts, not fate, not destiny or dreams that will never come true. I'm definitely not the kind of girl who meets a cute boy on a crowded New York City street and falls in love with him. Not when my family is 12 hours away from being deported to Jamaica. Falling in love with him won't be my story. And then there goes Daniel. I've always been the good son, the good student, living up to my parents' high expectations. Never the poet or the dreamer. But when I see her, I forget all. I forget about all that. Something Natasha. Something. Oh, I can't even read properly. One eternity later. Something about Natasha makes me think that fate has something much more extraordinary in store for both of us. And then there's a little part of it where it's like the universe. And it's like every moment in our lives has brought us to this single moment. A million futures lie before us. Which one will come true? It really touches base on like the science and 
um, how like science involves itself with love and destiny and fate and all that. It's it's really good. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but um, Nick Nicola is a fantastic author and I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna give this one 10 out of 10. If you ever get a chance to uh, read it or if you're ever feeling bored and you want to read a book, read this one. There was a giant noise just then, and I don't know what it is, but I'm slightly terrified. There's something in my window, and I don't know what it is. I'm slightly afraid of going to, to see it. Uh, be right back. Okay, so there was nothing there, so it might have just been something rattling, which is cool. Uh, welcome to Australia, where the wind makes noises scary noises. So, where was I? Now I've lost track. <laughs> so as I was saying, Nicola Yoon is a fantastic author and if you haven't read um, her book Everything Everything, definitely also read that. Um, there is a movie which is Bless the Movie like and Bless Nick Robinson. So my advice would be to read the book first and then watch the movie because obviously you know everyone knows that books are different to the movies um but if you're like me and you watch movies before you read books then you can do that too i'm not gonna stop you you're you do you i don't really have much else to say for this honestly um this is one of my favorite books i've ever read and same with everything 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 the movie is also really good so you should go and watch that um there's also a movie being made of this next year and if you watch riverdale um charles melton who plays reggie uh he's daniel and yara shahidi is natasha so i'm really looking forward to the movie it, i don't know when it comes out but it comes out next year so that should be good um but other than that, I think that's it for this week. Sorry I didn't have a video out last week. I had so much on. Um, I was going to do a vlog, but I got sidetracked and totally forgot about it. Um, uh, last Saturday, I had an audition for university. So that was fun. Uh, very hectic. And there was literally no time for me to even breathe, you know? So, but it was fun. Unfortunately, I didn't get in. Um, but it was a learning experience and now I know what auditions are like so I can do more and maybe next time I have an audition I'll vlog and so you guys can see whatever and I didn't have a video idea for last week so I just left it so yeah I know this one was kind of quick but I hope you still enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hit the big red subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys next week in the lounge. Bye!